Harsha, you're a chemical engineer, management graduate, advertising professional. What made you take the jump towards uh, cricket broadcast and cricket commentary? You know, life's always set of connecting trains. It started back in the early 80s and I'd play cricket. It's very fashionable to say that he never held a cricket bat in his life, but truth rarely comes in the way of a good story. And I'd, I'd, I'd score my runs, I'd come back, and one day my father told me, why don't you try to speak? And I went to the local All India radio office. Hyderabad was a very, very warm, welcoming city. And, and they gave me a break on Yovani, they allowed me to audition on radio. I started doing radio broadcasts. And luckily I started on radio because it is the most beautiful medium for cricket, but it's also the easiest medium to be on. Made a bit of a name in radio, got a break in television, do, did a bit on Doordarshan. One thing leads to the other, but sometimes you've just got to be in the right place at the right time. So was the money too much uh, at that point in time or is it, uh, is it, has it increased considerably because of the viewership that there is? I don't know if it's increased because of the viewership, but it bears, <laughs> no, it bears no relation to what it was. Uh, 100 rupees a day on All India Radio and Doordarshan. Uh, an additional 50 or 75 rupees a day as daily allowance. So nobody who worked on All India Radio ever did it for the money. And sometimes that was the standard you got. And my first professional television gig was with TWI for the Hero Cup and they paid me $100 a day. And a friend of mine said to me, are you nuts? You should never be working for that kind of money. And I said, shh, don't tell them. I'd pay them that kind of money to do it. I think money is a corruptor for excellence. So if you start chasing contracts, your quality drops somewhere or the other. So the money has always been a bonus. It's a fabulous bonus, <laughs> but it's a bonus. And what is it now per day? <laughs> I just put a link out there. But uh, tell me one thing, you made a name for yourself in the radio. After that you got into TV, but as you earlier said, you know, people think you never held a bat in your life and stuff. So was it like this old boys team in the commentary box where they, they made you feel insignificant? When I started off, there were ball by ball broadcasters. So by the time the only cricketer brigade came in, I was already an accepted ball by ball broadcaster and luckily I'd become a presenter by then. And when you become a presenter, you carry very different skills from being a, a, a commentator. So I became a presenter. And, and, and so even when a lot of only cricketer commentators started coming in, I could still keep my place because I was now a presenter. You very easily tell us that Sachin is playing the back foot punch, she's in form. How do we know that you're in form? Or how do you know you're, you're in form? I know when I'm out of form. So if you work on the principle that a non-negative is a positive, you can work on the principle that when you're not out of form, you're in form. And live television has a very, very simple way of giving you a kick out of the backside. The question is, do you want to listen? Do you, do you suddenly find you're getting out of jail because of your vocabulary? That you actually didn't have something to say, but you were able to fail. means you're not prepared enough. Or sometimes you start to say something and say, but is he playing today? I've not checked enough. So live television has a way of telling you whether or not you're prepared or no. Give me an example of the time when you felt you were out of form. The other day I wrote an article and I said, now that Jadeja is back for uh, the rising Pune Super Giants. <laughs> and I said, oh, hang on, but he's playing for Gujarat Lions. I've not, I've not studied enough before writing that. So you don't study for a match, but you spend an hour at least every day knowing what is happening where. All right. Uh, another thing that uh, it was a big perk of your career, Harsha, is the fact that you got to witness some massive careers of the likes of Sachin Tendulkar, Rahul Dravid, Anil Kumble, VBS Lakshman as well. And you've seen some really historic moments on and off the field. Could you share a few for us? It was, a, it was, it was the greatest generation I have seen. Not because they were cricketers, but because of the people they were. And I think very often the person you are gets reflected in the cricketer you become. And that if your personal work ethic isn't great, your personal habits aren't great, your personal commitment isn't great, you, are, you start to get arrogant very quickly, it impacts your cricket, your shorter careers. The history of the world has shown that. And I, I thought one of the reasons the Tendulkars, the Kumbles, the Dravids, the Lakshman, even Ganguly for that matter, who was a little different from all of them because he was more in your face and he needed to be as a captain, I think you'll find that they were all a certain kind of people. And it was, it was wonderful seeing that. I went to see Tendulkar's 155 at, uh, at, at Chennai when the big Tendulkar won challenge was, uh, was at its peak. It was fantastic to see India winning a test match at Lords, winning a test match in Perth, to, uh, to winning a test match at Leeds in 2002, winning the T20 World, uh, first T20 World Cup in 2007. These are just fantastic moments, uh, moments to be part of. And yeah, you're lucky, you're lucky to, be, to see a little bit of history. You miss a bit, you get a bit.
I'll always, I'll always feel very sad. I wasn't on the 2004 Indian Tour to Pakistan, for example, where people on either side showed what uh, good cheer and bonomi can achieve. Do you think that has percolated down to the current generation as well? Of course, it, it, will, it will penetrate down, but eventually it is your work ethic mm -hmm. more than your talent that counts. As I keep saying to people, talent opens at best a second door for you.